Hi, I'm Debbie ridpath children's book author and illustrator. I am just giving people a minute or two, and I'm also going to check that this is live streaming to my Facebook page, and I'm hoping I'm going to actually post this link, and hoping that some book creators will also be tuning into my Facebook um, author illustrator and I'm wait I'm gonna post the link actually where should I post the link I'll post it right here I'm tweeting while I'm live streaming okay just a second Facebook live live stream on picture book layout right now because hopefully it'll make it easier for people, because I always find it hard. I'm not sure about the rest of you there. I'm not sure about the rest of you, but there are sometimes there are Facebook Live events. And so I, I go to the page, but then I can't find the live stream and I'm missing the beginning. So, all right. So hopefully people will have found me by now. Okay, so I'm going to talk about something I have always found very confusing, and that is... Um, why 32 pages is a standard for picture books. And this is something I wish someone, um, I'm, sh I'm sure a lot of people tried explaining it to me, but it takes me a while. And even now, I get confused. So if I say anything that's incorrect, I'm hoping one of you other, um, more experienced picture book creators will correct me. Okay, so, I but I think I have figured out a way to more clearly explain why um, picture books, the standard is 32 pages. And one way I do this is to take a blank piece of paper, it has to do with printing costs. So what this really helped me, so I take a blank piece of paper and let's pretend this is, um, Oh, I'm doing a terrible job explaining this already. Okay, it has to do with printing costs. So 32 pages is pretty much the number of pages that will be on a printing sheet. Um, that is a standard, and that makes it more affordable for publishers. I mean, a picture book can have any number of pages, but if it's non-standard, I think it costs the printers a little bit more. And so, okay, so what I... If you take a piece of paper and then you fold it, and let's pretend this is like way, way larger. All right, can you see that? I'm gonna move this for now. And it was only when I did this a few times I realized, oh my gosh, that makes more sense. Okay, and I fold it like this, and then I fold it like this, and I have no idea if, um, Where's my pair of scissors? Did I lose my scissors? I had them right here. Oh, yeah. They're underneath the big pile of paper. Okay. So, all right. So, um, at the printers, then I'm, I'm assuming they trim three of the sides. And look, now you have two, I think these are called signatures. And what I did is I went through, I numbered them, but to save you the boredom of having to watch me number them look magic uh oh some of the pages no I don't think some of the pages fall out so then you look you have two signatures 32 pages now okay great Th yay thank you some people are already commenting excellent wonderful good okay so there's 32 pages and you would think oh this is great I have 32 pages I could put story content on. But no, that is not exactly the case because, okay, let's suppose this is the cardboard book cover. I just, sorry, I try to reuse my scribbles as much as possible. Well, this goes in here, but you need, okay, I'll use an example. For example, oh, here's a picture book by a friend of mine, friends of mine. Joyce Grant and Jan Dolby. Um, I love the Gabby books. So look, this, you can't use that for s story content. 
that's a title page and then you have the copyright information and then you have who the book is for and then the story begins so that is also true for this you can't really use the first um, few pages but that's not all um, there are some books like for example that one I just showed you and also hey Here's another book by a friend of mine, um, illustrated by a friend of mine, Suzanne Kaufman. I'm hoping she's listening because I saw her post earlier, um, written by B.B. Mandel. And look, look at these colored ends. So um, this kind of picture book, like sometimes when picture books are printed, they have no end papers, not illustrated end papers, but the printers and they're, um, I'm not, maybe there, there's a publisher, agent, or author um, out there, or art director who knows the answer. They can help explain why those colored ends are used sometimes. So let's pretend these are colored ends. So then, let's insert these colored ends. So then, these ends are glued onto, oh, you know, I don't even know the proper terminology. I think, you know, I think this whole thing is a book block. This is called the book block. And these are the colored ends. And this is just one type of picture book. So then if you glue, you know, let's, let's do that right now. So if I, and when I'm explaining this to kids, this helps a lot. Or adults. Like, I actually went through this process myself. And, all right. So these are the colored ends. And then these are glued, sometimes glued to, here. So look, you don't really have 32 pages. You're beginning on actually page two, but then there's the, you know, the copyright and the title page and everything. So you see, okay, that's color dance, but then for my books, like for example, where are my books? This does not have colored, yeah, okay. Color dance, I think, are sometimes called separate ended books. Is that somebody can correct me if I'm wrong? So for me, yeah, that's not a good example because there is illustrations, but not a lot. How about let's look at I'm sad. So here, this is not separate ended because there are illustrations on these pages as well. And one tip I read somewhere, I will try to post links when I can, is if you, um, Oh, I should put my glue cap back on here. If you pick up the first page, if you're not sure, pick up the first page of a picture book. And if it's not the same paper, not the same kind of paper as the rest of the picture book, I believe that's called separate ended, or some people call it color ended. And if it's the same, then it is self-ended self-ended again i'm still confused but i found that when i was asked to start illustrating picture books and when i began to write and illustrate picture books i, I realized i need to figure this out especially if the editor um, is hoping that I, I will paginate um a picture uh, paginate the manuscript okay for example oh i can't Yes, I can take that. I almost took out the manuscript for I'm Sorry, which I'm illustrating now, but I can't show that publicly. So this is uh, um, the manuscript for Gerpel and Preen. So notice that the first, the f and this is an early version of Gerpel and Preen, so please don't share this anywhere, but <laughs> that's why I'm live streaming publicly. But anyway, this is an early version by Linda Sue Park. Um, her, notice the first actual page of content begins on spread 6-7, not page 1-2. This whole first page is all about, you know, when it's supposed to come out and copyright information. So usually when I am um, handing in sketches for a book I'm illustrating, I begin it on page 6-7. And so that's why I also made these templates um, la, 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 la. Okay, here's two of the templates. Oh, here's another template. Uh, that's why I made these templates to try to help people, um, even if you, even if you're a writer, not an illustrator, I find it helps to, um, when I'm writing a picture book, to paginate it, to divide my text up into pages. 
And I know that some, feel free to ask any questions, by the way. So far, there's no questions, am I correct? Um, and I will try to answer them. But I thought, well, what happens if the editor prefers no pagination? What happens if the editor prefers pagination? In that case, hopefully you have an agent because agents tend to know what editors like pagination and what um, editors prefer unpaginated. And it's possible that the editor, the agent may send your manuscript to the editor without any pagination as well, even if you page. But I think I am 100% positive that if you are writing a picture book, it will help you with overall story flow um, if you break your text up into pages. Because if you are breaking your text up into 32 pages, it means you're, you don't really understand picture book format. And if you hand it in like that, you are showing the editor you do not understand picture book format. So on, um, yes, I have put up above, you should see, um, two uh, website links, which have templates that I've created for free for anyone to use. Um, writers or illustrators, there are different versions. Um, okay, before I forget, if I forget, remind me to tell you to analyze picture books. Okay, so here, okay, for example, this is a 32-page picture. This is one example of a 32-page. This begins on page four and five. You'll say, why is that? When your books and Linda Sue Park's manuscript began on page six, seven, well, it's because this is for a 32-page picture book, and this begins, like, in this case, <laughs> I'm not doing this, but in this case, um, the whole first spread is being used for the first page. But there are some, you know, there is some flexibility. That's why these templates, there's no one right answer. Um, that there could be a printer or an editor out there that will think, you know what, I think your story needs a little bit more room. I think instead of 32 pages, it needs 40 pages. And th the reason for that is because, see, notice when you fold this up, there are, this ends up being 32 pages, 16 on each side. If you rip it in half, um, if the printer just prints, you know, a whole page plus a half, that is um, an addition of 16 more, you know? So usually if they, again, anyone feel free to correct me if I'm wrong, but my understanding is that it's easier for a picture book to be increased, it costs the publisher more money, um, to 40 pages than 35 pages, for example, because then extra special cutting needs to be made and stuff like that. And so when I realized that, I realized, I realize um, that is why if I was an up and coming picture book writer or author illustrator, I would probably try to compress my picture book story to 32 pages, even if it could, exp unless it was a real, unless I really, really could not, you know, keep it less than 40 pages because if your story's brilliant, great. You know, the publisher will say, even if it costs me more, yes, absolutely. But if they're they, they're right, if you're absolutely new, if you're pre-published, you don't have a track record, and also um, they're right on the fence about whether they're going to acquire your manuscript or not, if I, I would lean toward, you know, let's make it easy for them. And once they, once they say, yes, I love your manuscript, then you could have, you know, a conversation about, well, I also have a version that could be expanded to 40 pages. What do you think? But uh, that's one reason I strongly recommend trying to stick to 32 pages, the template. But also keeping in mind, th you know, the various, um, the variations, the variations, the various variations. So I have a template for, um, this is separate ended, the color ends, just like the examples I showed you. This is an example with self ended and the paste down is what I meant when, you know, oh, sorry, these two blocks, this is pasted down onto the cover, oh, sorry, this is pasted down onto the cover, so this actually becomes part of the cover, and that's why you could um, turn this and this, oh, sorry, this and this into self, 
it's, I know it's so confusing. Um, but what I encourage you to, okay, yes, I told you to remind me about analyzing picture books. What also helped me a ton is to read as many picture books as possible. And of course, you should read them just because, you know, you need to be familiar with picture book content and flow, and um, you need to embrace picture books as much as possible if you want to be a picture book writer or writer illustrator or illustrator. Um, but also what I did is I went through as many picture books as possible and I counted pages. I labeled them. I, I used big post-it notes on the front and I, I, you know, I said this is 32 pages and it's, it's self-ended, it's separate-ended. Um, actually in the beginning I didn't understand those terms so what I actually just did is um, count the number of pages used for actual story content. Um, and after I analyzed a whole pile of these, and I went through this process again when I taught a highlights course on picture book format and talking about that, and I got confused all over again because it, I, I totally understand what's confusing, but the more you analyze, the more you realize, okay, there is some wiggle room. There is some wiggle room, so it's, if you, <coughs> excuse me, if you hand in a manuscript and it's not conforming exactly to this, but it's close, it's okay if, you know, as long as your writing's of a certain level, the editor, you know, falls in love with it, they'll help you adjust the pagination. It's, it's only if you're, you're wildly off, like if you hand in, like one common mistake I see, if you hand in a picture book manuscript um, that is, that uses 32 pages. And I also, see one common mistake, well, not a mistake, but one con well, it is a, a mistake if you use actually 32 pages for story content. But also remember, um, you know, I should use one of my own books as <laughs> examples occasionally. Also remember that it's not just it's not just one page, one page. On one page, you could have multiple smaller spots. On some of them, you could have um, full page spreads. So um, there is some some flexibility, but analyze a lot. Um, what else? Is there any questions? There's no questions so far. Am I, I'm probably explaining so poorly that <laughs> everyone's totally confused. Okay, but I know it's so confusing, but I wish that um, I could send a message to my, my younger self when I was beginning to write and illustrate picture books and tell myself to analyze a lot of picture books and to paginate my text. Um, also, be aware that um, when your manuscript is acquired, we're going to assume all of you are going to be brilliant picture book writers and writer illustrators and that they'll all be acquired. When the manuscript is passed to the illustrator, the um, editor may, the editor or art director may take out the pagination because they want to give the illustrator more freedom to, to they want to see how the illustrator will paginate. Um, and that's, how, oh good, thank you. Um, and this has happened to me as well. I have received manuscripts that are not paginated because the editor and art director want to see how I split them up. Um, and I've also you know, receive manuscripts that are paginated. So that is my short, brief live stream explanation of manuscript formatting. Are there any questions at all? Or I would also love to hear from any picture book creators out there, if there are any, um, if, if they have a, anything to add or a similar experience. So, um, one question is, are there any, are any words illustrated on self-ended pages counted in the word count of the story? Everything count, well, I can't see everything that counts. That's a good question, but I would, I would really, really think twice before putting any of your manuscript text on the end papers or the far end. Oh, you know what? I wish I had... There are some examples of great picture books that use, if anyone knows of any, please post an example. Um, there are picture books that will use the end papers and the title page um, as part of the leading into the story or answer, but very rarely with text. Usually it's just a fun intro with illustration. It's never an essential 
correct me if I'm wrong, it's never an essential part of the the story. The actual story, the core of the story, I believe, should be in the, um, in the main pages. But I am t entirely open to people pointing out that um, I'm wrong, or if there's, if anyone can think of an, ex and there are examples of really good picture books that use a title page as part of the story. But if I'm correct, none are the essential part of the manuscript. I would not count on that. Do not, especially if you're not, especially if you are a new pre-published author, author illustrator, I would not count on using that because some, some editors may interpret that as, um, uh, not having research picture book format unless it's an essential, essential part of your story. Um, oh, hello. Um, are some subject matters of higher priority than other subject matters? I'm not sure if I understand that question. So maybe uh, um, subject matters of higher priority than others. Are you talking in terms of um, number of pages? Like it's possible that that's not for me to answer. I would think if your question is about um, maybe some publishers would assign more pages for a more important topic. Yes, absolutely. It's, but it depends on the publisher. It depends on the, it's not up to me to, to decide that. Um, but if you're submitting a manuscript, and I'm just talking about picture books here. So I'm not talking about chapter books or middle grade or anything. Um, all of my picture books, most of them, I think all of my picture, all of my picture books with Simon and Schuster have ended up being um, four, well, I didn't print that out, 40 pages instead of 32 pages, but I don't, not all 40 pages are, but that was the decision made by Simon, my editor and art director, not by me. When I hand in something, I always assume it's 30, a 32 page because well, part of it is because I go through imposter syndrome. Oh, yeah, I don't want them to spend more money on me. Um, <laughs> but also I try my, myself to try to con condense my story and I leave it up to my editor to say, you know, you should you know, flesh that part part out more. Oh, the topics, the topics of books. Yeah, I, um, I am not the expert at that. Maybe if there are, it's especially if there are nonfiction book creators out there or editors or agents or art directors, they could speak to that. But um, I would, like, if I had to answer that right now, which I am, I guess, um, I, I think if a publisher feels it will make enough money, then it's worth putting the extra money into more pages. I guess that's what I'm saying. But again, I am not a publisher or an editor, and I'm not in charge of making those decisions, but that's my rough guess. Um, oh, yeah, okay. All right, so everybody, I don't know how to pronounce last. Um, could you possibly give an example of one of um, Andre's uh, picture books? Because I would love to look that up too. And if anybody has not already, please check out, oh, could you, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look up your, your website. Make sure, oh, you know, I can just look up here. Okay, just a second. Wait, before I point out um, Muriel's um, wonderful books, I want to, I can switch over, right? Let's see if I can do, yes, I can. Okay, so I'm switching to my second monitor where I do have um, a resource called Creating Picture Books. And the, um, in the main page, you'll see the, the URL at the top. I would also highly recommend, I'm not sure how many of you are rec um, familiar with T Tara Lazar. She has a great, great um, website explaining all the different types of um, picture book layouts. They're self-ended, colored ended. And if you want to find her website, just look up Tara Lazar and then look up uh, picture book templates. and this page will turn up. But I also wanted to show you Muriel Messier, my failure not right your name correctly. Do check out, oh, that's not your website. Check out her awesome um, picture books because they are fantastic and she's so awesome. Okay. Um, all right. So are there, oh, okay. And also check up Kiva 
there, I, I, my French is terrible, even though I'm learning French, um, as an example of a picture book with great end papers. Oh, hi, Judy. It's great to see you again. Okay, so any other questions before I sign off? Oh, it's only available in French. Not, not, well, this is good because I'm actually learning French, as you know, but my French is terrible, which I'm embarrassed to say that because I live in Canada, but I am gradually working my... Okay, so I should go to back to overhead. So I hope this brief rather rambling explanation helps clear up some of the confusion because um, and not added to it but my over if you had take one thing to take away from this it's that oh I should remove this um, if you're gonna take away one thing from this whole live stream it would be um, to analyze read a ton of picture books if you are thinking of creating picture books yourself either writing writing illustrating or illustrating please <laughs> read a lot of picture books it's um, and this especially well this especially applies to two groups of people one are the professional writer authors who write for adults or teens who and of course none of you fall into this category um, <laughs> Uh, but a certain group feels that it's so easy to write picture books because there's so few words, you know, I'll write a picture book this weekend. Do not be like that. Um, before, Because if you begin submitting picture book manuscripts like that, editors and the kid like community, they'll be able to tell. So before you think you could write or illustrate picture books, please immerse yourself in picture books and analyze. And and I forgot what it is. Okay, and the other group, is um, the well-meaning picture book, pre-published picture book creators who love picture books and they have wonderful s stories to tell, wonderful voices, but they feel like, oh, you know, they've heard a picture book has 32 pages. That means I can just write my whole manuscript and then divide it into 32 pages. That is also not, um, down that pathway is heartbreak I guarantee it so so again analyze picture books read a ton of picture books okay so I think that's it all right oh it's okay if you miss this because I believe everything is going to be archived um, forever until I delete it so there should be an archive of this live stream on my Facebook author illustrator page and Twitter, Periscope, and my YouTube channel. Thank you very much for tuning in. And um, if you are on Facebook or YouTube or Twitter, feel free to, even if you just caught the end of it, feel free to reply, add comments, add questions. If I can answer your questions, maybe somebody else quite can. But keep reading picture books, a lot of picture books. Thanks very much, everybody. Thanks for coming by.